Hey guys, <laughs> I'm in the Grand Palace in the Temple of Emerald Buddha. It's a massive complex in the old town of uh, Bangkok. I mean, from outside you can't really see it as much. There's this massive wall around it, but uh, it, you can see only the tips, you know, of, of the temples and stuff, like the those. And it does look really good. <laughs> this actually is my third attempt <laughs> to go and come here. Like the first time I went, came, I wasn't dressed appropriately. So no, you need long trousers and things to cover your shoulders. Uh, second time, it was uh, yesterday. It was a Queen's birthday, so part of the complex was closed. So I kind of decided I'm gonna come back today. <laughs> so I can see all of it, you know? And now I'm here, finally. <laughs> so the ticket costs 500 baht, and that includes the entrance to the palace, of course. <laughs> uh, entrance to Emerald Buddha. It also includes a uh, uh, national some kind of mask, uh, masked dance performance in theater, but that's a different place and it's valid seven days from the purchase and also some kind of museum with a royal uh, treasury which is also a separate building and it's valid for seven days after the purchase so great entrance it's massive mural it goes like, I don't know, three walls already long. It's quite weird. I mean, <laughs> it does look quite impressive, I must say. The detail, you know, the color, it's just... It is extremely beautiful. <laughs> and I, I've seen only a small corner of it, like, I mean... I might have underestimated the size of this complex, <laughs> how long it will take me. Yeah, okay, it's time to move on. It was built in 1782, I believe. So it's not that old. Damn, imagine one day somebody lived here. <laughs> I must say, it is very impressive, really impressive, very beautiful, like the detail, see? And it just, it just goes all over the place, I mean, this one is, <laughs> I, I wish I could put it like, uh, bring it closer.
I think it's definitely worth five hundred baht. <laughs> if you're wondering if it is worth it, answer is yes, it is. No second thought about that. So soon, we're gonna go to Emerald Buddha, which is that building there with the blue ceiling. It's supposed to be really great. <laughs> gonna find out. Oh my gosh. So this mural, it's actually, it goes around the entire wall. The surround uh, at least this part of the complex it just goes non-stop like all over that's kind of cool i mean <laughs> that's some long ass mural okay so that's there inside emerald the uh, buddha and that's my next destination. <laughs> So unfortunately you can't take pictures and not film inside, but the Emerald Buddha is actually very tiny. <laughs> I thought it would be like big, you know? It's very tiny, it's sitting on this massive like, like, sort of like throne, you know? Okay, it really does look grand. <laughs> I must be honest, I mean, European castles, they are nice and they are these like, these fancy castles, you know, <laughs> more like this, but I must say that uh, this type of architecture just talks to me more, I think, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> Be nice, something sweet. Because <laughs> I had only one piece of chicken today, and I have a headache. That's a lack of sugar. <laughs> I think the complex is over. There's a, one museum left. I think and that's it. <laughs> it took me like two hours. I think my next stop is some kind of coffee shop. Wow. Or smoothie. Passion fruit. <laughs> right. I think that's it for the Grand Palace. See us.